I can't wait for my next vacation. I'll be baking cupcakes. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. I have added in this little stand here and all will be explained. Basically, I have been putting the plasma packs on there and I thought it was a really cute way of displaying them. And also when Caleb makes them, we can just drag and drop them onto this little unit. It's just really nice to have. I tried to find the best shelving unit that matches kitchen and I couldn't really find anything. So I just went with this in the end. So let's go ahead and drink one. There we go. I honestly really like having that shelving unit. I think it's really cute. Also, let's go ahead and harvest this plant. And we got to look after this tree because it goes through some hard times. We actually forget it's there and then it kind of dries out. Caleb's back from work. He's feeling a little thirsty. Oh yeah, after the last episode, I actually sent him out fishing a little bit so we could get some more plasma packs because I'm planning on taking them on a little vampire holiday. So that's why I have all these fish in my inventory. Also, I caught this, which I wanted to show you guys. It's actually a vampire squid. So that is why I wanted to add it into our fish tank because it will go with the bat fish really well. This one is foul. I don't know why that is. Are they all? No. All right, this one is great. Let's go ahead and add that into the tank. <gasps> oh my gosh, did I just add like three of them or did I just add one of them? They're so cool. I love the vampire squid. They're so cute and they go really well with the batfish. I'm actually really curious to see if they added any more fish into this pack because that is so cool. But yes, I really want to take these guys on a little family holiday. I think that would be great. It's almost Ivy's birthday, so maybe she could spend her birthday on holiday. But I don't know if we have any holiday days for Caleb or if he's used them all. I'm honestly not sure. Here we go. Take vacation day. How many do we have though? That's my issue. Four days. That's enough. I think that's great. So before we actually go on holiday, I'm gonna get him to complete his work task, which is programming. Don't, Don't you just think this family is the cutest here. ever? Oh, especially Edward, he's adorable. Let's make sure everybody's done their stuff before we go away. And then we can decide where to take them. Okay, great. It's like 9 p.m. So we should probably go in the morning instead of going tonight. So we left it a little bit late, didn't we? So let's go ahead and take a drink. And then we should go out fishing for the last time tonight before we go on our little vacation. I'm so excited. Go to our favorite fishing spot right here. Meanwhile, Belle has actually started writing books because she is so bored at home. She has nothing else to do. So that's what she started doing, writing books. So she's writing a book called Good Night, Nightlight. And it is about the monster underneath Ivy's bed. So hopefully that'll be able to bring some more money into this family, wow. seeing as though we are running a little bit low, but thank gosh that Caleb is so good at his job. Caleb's just reached max level of fishing. Wow. How has that even happened? <laughs> He's like an extreme fisherman right now. Who is this? Whoa, they just disappeared. That was so weird. What? There was someone there a second ago. I went to zoom in and they just disappeared. This area in particular is really weird and we keep seeing like insane stuff like the Grim Reaper and people disappearing. I don't like it. Yay, Belle has finished writing an entire book. That's so cool. I'm very proud of you, Belle. We should start a new one. Okay, it is 6 a.m. bright and early and we are gonna go on holiday. Let's see what little Edward wants. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's going to the potty. Fair enough. I think he can actually take himself to the potty now, which is really cool. Oh no, Caleb's gonna start work. Okay, let's ring in and take vacation days. Vacation day time. Also, Ivy, don't go to school. Skip school. We're gonna take vacation day. I love how she's got a little mobile phone. Okay, she's taking vacation day. I think we're gonna have to ring in like every day and say that we can't go. And then Belle's gonna go upstairs and go on the computer and we are gonna take a vacation. I'm so excited for this. It's a little break away from everything. I'm just scared though, because we need coffins to sleep in. <laughs> Hopefully I can just buy one one with that. Otherwise, I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, where are we gonna go? Oh, everything's so expensive. We should go here. It's really, really expensive, but it's a really nice place. Let's go for three days. Oh, that's, that's so expensive. Let's just go for two. Here we are. Ooh, it is nice here, but there's like nowhere for us to sleep. 
which is not very good. So what I went ahead and did was I went and edited this house in build mode and added in some beds and stuff. I hope it's all still here. Yes, it is. And I made this house more toddler friendly. And here we are at our little holiday home for the next two days. This is going to be a cute getaway from everything. Maybe we could throw a birthday party here for Ivy because it is almost her birthday. And I thought it'd be a nice like birthday getaway. And it's such a cool place to throw a party. But it's so unfortunate that Belle just cannot go out outside when it is daytime. Otherwise we could enjoy this place for the beauty that it has. It's a good job Caleb can go outside because he can go explore. Little Edward trying to get up the steps here. Can he not do it? Come on buddy I believe in you. There we go. So he can actually go upstairs and play with the toys. These were already here, which is cool. And then this is where he's gonna sleep. There are actually quite a lot of rooms in here. Oh, who's this? Hello friends, I'm Yosef, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge, so if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We also have two spare beds here, so maybe we could ask someone if they wanna join us on our vacation. Maybe they would. And then we have a bed here, which we can go ahead and climb. Oh yeah, totally forgot to add a coffin, didn't I? But you're not gonna find a coffin in a place like this, are you? Let's be real. Let's go ahead and talk to the park ranger. Friendly introduction. Hello, friend. He's pretty cool. How are you doing? Ask for camping information. Oh, there's even a bed down here. Oh my gosh, there's so much room for so many sims. We've chosen a really cool place. There are five species of fish unique to Granite Falls. Try not to overfish our streams though. This is a dream for Caleb right here. All of his fishing dreams will come true. There's so much we can do out here. You can play a game of horseshoe. We can sit out here on a night. Oh, it's just so cute here. Oh, we can also go look for frogs to make plasma packs. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can go fishing over here. Maybe we should do that now, see what we can catch. But we just caught a frog, so let's go ahead and create a plasma pack. Ooh, look at that. The highest quality of plasma pack. So it's a shame we have no frogs in our hometown. Ooh, a bear. <laughs> Hello. So many different sims I've never seen here. Take me to lodging, take me to bathroom, read camping information. This place is really cool. You can also explore the woods. Buffin Bathrooms over here. It looks like someone's left some trash out. Is this the place where the hermit lives? I'm sure there's a person here called the hermit. It'd be really awesome to find them and turn them into a vampire. Oh, there's someone else fishing over here. Jonathan Holy. Oh, I think Ivy's playing a game of horseshoe with this guy. Look how gloomy she is. Oh, she's trying to enjoy herself. Oh, but she hates the mosquitoes. He's going to teach her how to play. Let's see how good he is. Is he a good shot? No. You'd have thought he'd have mastered this game. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, he's gonna try again. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, that was close. <laughs> what is she telling him about? He looks shook. Now it's Ivy's turn. Oh, let's see how she does. Come on. I believe in you, Ivy. You can do this. Wow, that was good though. Look how upset she is that she missed that. This probably isn't the best thing to do while she's already feeling sad. Come on. Oh, that was so close. Oh, she's so sad. It's a good job this pack ranger is just really sympathetic. <laughs> oh, it looks like Edward's putting himself to sleep. You know, we should go downstairs and make a birthday cake. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's make a white cake. Suitable for vegetarians. I love how Caleb's just out here fishing still. He's finding just common fish, I think. There we go, we've made the cake. Let's add the birthday candles. And let's see if anybody else wants to come over. Can we even throw a party here? I don't know if we can. Plan a social event. Oh my gosh, we can't make a birthday party. I don't know why it keeps saying this. Let's go ahead and do a weenie roast, which sounds really cool, but this says get together with your camping buddies and enjoy a night of eating and conversation by the fire. Host, let's do that. Bell and guests. Let's go ahead and invite everyone that we can. Cool, there we go. There wasn't many sims that we could invite. I don't know why that is. Some tips for a successful event. Host needs a cooler. I don't know where we're gonna get a cooler, so that's a bit of a shame. I just heard a really weird noise. I don't know why that was. Oh, maybe it was our vampire friend. She just jumped in here. I don't know how. <laughs> Nobody else is even here, but she was. Oh well. Hang out by the campfire for three hours. We should have probably started this party a bit later, seeing as though it's still daytime. Caleb just caught a basil. As in a plant basil? 
Wow, that's so weird. How can you catch a basil? What the heck? Why is the Grim Reaper just floating around? It's so creepy. What are you doing, bro? Surely we should be best friends with the Grim Reaper, seeing as though we are a vampire. We cheated death. Can we turn him into a vampire? No, the Grim Reaper does not possess any plasma. <laughs> that is so cool. This is so strange. Why is he here? Let's ask about his career. Let's see what it says. I can't wait for my next vacation. I'll be baking cupcakes. Okay. What is going on? Why is he here? I think he's going to disappear now. Wow. That is super creepy. One of the strangest things I've ever seen in The Sims. Oh wow, there are a lot of people in here. Let's turn on the radio. There we go, this part is getting good. Okay, we better sit around the campfire. Let's get that going. So let's invite everyone to hang out around it. Apart from the people that are obviously vampires, which I don't actually know who we could have to hang around this actually. I think everyone is a vampire, how awkward. Roast hot dogs on the campfire even though we can't eat them, okay. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh no, I think Caleb ate a hot dog. What were you thinking, dude? This is really cool. I wonder if we could tell a group story. A ghost story about a goblin. That sounds so cool. Everybody looks like they're having a good time. The party was unsuccessful, but I think we had a good time regardless. Wasn't all about the campfire. I think everyone's gonna leave now, so we should probably go ahead and get Ivy to blow out the candles. It's gonna be so cute. Let's get everyone inside. I think she's gonna end up blowing out her candles on her own if nobody hurries up. Here we go. I'm so excited to see her as a teenager. Yay, she's aged up. Time to pick an aspiration. This Sim wants to control her first and remain as human as possible. We also have all of the normal ones, but I really wanna choose her a vampire one. Let's choose a popularity one because when you're a teenager, all you wanna do is make friends. And then also a trait, what shall we have for this? Let's have romantic. So I really wanna get her like a vampire boyfriend. I think that'd be really cool to do. So there we go. Ivy has all grown up. Now that Ivy Lawson is a teen, her vampire powers have fully manifested. She no longer has a hunger, energy, or bladder motive and must consume plasma to satisfy her thirst. Wow. She is a true vampire, guys. This is so awesome. So it looks like nobody can eat the cake apart from Edward. So let's let him take a piece of the cake. Let's go ahead and change the way that Ivy looks. So guys, this is what her look is for an everyday use. I have chosen most of the stuff from the vampire pack because I just want to keep true to what this series is. This outfit is also a vampire's dress with some jewelry that was already in the game. Then for athletic, we didn't really have a choice. There wasn't really much to choose from and this is the stuff that she already had on. I mean, it's tragic looking and I don't know why she has this horrible looking lipstick on. Then this is her nightwear, her party look, and her swimming look. She looks very same throughout most of them, but I did decide to take her makeup off for athletic and sleeping. But I think she is overall a very pretty sim. I think she is overall a very, very cute sim. I love her. And we're gonna have to teach her how to become the best vampire teenager that there is. This is gonna be a very hard task. I guess that her mum can teach her how to do some vampire stuff. So let's go ahead and do some training your first vampire training lesson <laughs> ivy let's go teaching ivy how to do this is she gonna be able to grasp it oh she's doing quite well she didn't do it properly but she did a very good job i love that caleb is just out here in the middle of nowhere with this woman what is he doing talking to a vampire Ooh, there is a bear out here i wonder if he'll let us drink his plasma no, he won't let us. He's just a grizzly bear trying to live his life. No sim likes being around deadly animals, but this bear seems more annoying than threatening. Are these two seriously still doing this? Wow. Oh, they're adorable together. She's getting really hungry. I guess she doesn't know what this feels like, but let's go ahead and eat a plasma fruit. We had one in our inventory for some reason. I don't quite understand. There we go. Learning how to become a vampire, I guess. Let's do some dark meditation too. She does not look happy right now. Tense. Strange first. So thirsty, water just isn't cutting it. This is just such a chill place. I love it out here. 
Anyway guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave today's episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. We've come on a really, really cute camping trip together. Ivy has now turned into a teenager and I think she makes a very good vampire already. Caleb has finally managed to make plasma packs out of frogs, which is kind of gross, but apparently they're better quality. And overall, we're just enjoying some good family time. Anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. If you did, do make sure to leave a like. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!